What's going on, Halloween fans? My name's Dave McRae. Okay, so in this video, I don't wanna take too long. I just wanted to quickly jump on here and uh, give you my, what is probably my final thoughts, really, at the end of the day, uh, in regards to Halloween ends. Now, uh, I'm gonna read you a social media post that I posted just a little while ago, and the reason why I'm gonna read it to you is because it's compartmentalized, it's just kinda right there, it's just, you know, I don't need to shoot from the hip and talk for like, you know, 45 minutes, which, if you follow me for any length of time, you know I could do very easily. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of just mm, ah, ah, make it very concise and mm, to the point. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so I watched Halloween Ends for the second time today. I watched it for the first time at the movie theater on Friday. And um, I don't think I need to watch this movie again in terms of, you know, trying to kind of see how I feel about it. Well, maybe I need to watch. Maybe I need to watch it again. Maybe, I, you know, as some people do. And sometimes I do, depending on what, you know, the movie is. Um, the needle didn't move much for me. I mean, maybe it moved a little bit in terms of enjoyment because I wasn't in the theater uh, with a bunch of fucking teenagers and their phones and they're, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, it hasn't really moved that much. So if you follow me on Facebook, this is what I posted. Maybe you've already read it, but let's jump into it. Okay, these are probably my my final thoughts on Halloween ends. I mean, not the last time I'll, you know, I'll talk about it. I just mean in terms of how I feel about the movie. I don't think it's going to change ever. Uh, so here we go. I watched Halloween ends for a second time. Here's my thoughts. I don't hate the film, but I don't love the film either. I'm very disappointed overall. The Corey story of Halloween ends feels like the story you'd tell once the trilogy is done, maybe in a Netflix series or anthology film. It feels episodic. We revisit Lori and Allison years later and shift focus onto Corey's tragic descent. He falls further and further into darkness because of the events from that Halloween night and the bullying and paranoia placed on him. Lori and maybe even the town fear that it may start again. No Michael Myers in the movie or show whatsoever. He died at the end of the trilogy. However, instead of Corey taking his own life with 10 minutes to go as it is currently, we follow through with Corey to the bitter end, either passing the torch as the new Myers or defeating him altogether, helping to hammer home one of the important messages that currently lies in this film. Evil doesn't die. It changes shape. Ironically, you don't necessarily need Myers in this story to deliver that message. I am genuinely happy for those who love the film from top to bottom and feel it is fresh and impactful. My disappointment is not because I don't get it or I don't understand what David Gordon Green and company were doing. No, no, I, I, I get it. I, I get all of it. I just know there was a better Halloween movie that could have been told without sacrificing on the social messages and themes they wanted to deliver. This story, as it currently is, was not the only story that could have been told and still deliver on those important messages and themes. It's an interesting anthology piece, but for me, not a very satisfying conclusion to this trilogy. Oh, and before I forget, because I know it's incoming, when I say I didn't hate Halloween Ends, that's not me saying I am happy with how they handled Michael Myers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm very disappointed with how Michael Myers was handled in this movie. I mean, I'm sitting in the theater and I'm watching him hulk up like Hulk Hogan from 1987. And I'm like, why am I seeing this? What? Like, I get, I get, I understand it all. It's not that I don't, you get, don't get it. No, I get it. I get it. I just don't agree with the creative decisions. That's, that's all. And, and that's, that's me. So no, that's not me saying that I'm okay with those things. I am simply saying there were interesting story beats involving Corey that I feel would have worked better in their own film or series. Not in this third act, in this third film in this trilogy. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. You're free to disagree. Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Uh, keep it civil down there. It's I'm not going to watch you again. The only people that would be offended by that are the people that are going to do that.
Anyways, if you want to follow me on social media, <laughs> if you want to follow me on social media, on social media, you can. Uh, there are my links right there: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All my links are in the, are in the description. Check them out. Check them out until your heart's content. And when your heart is content, check them out again. Uh, in the meantime, and in between time, I will talk to you soon. Cheers. <laughs>